Just keep quiet and don't show any weakness in this game. This is heavyweight boxing. On Saturday, October 28th, at Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, in a fight televised live in the U.S. on Showtime at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Time, IBF WBA IBO Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua Chapter 190, 19 KOs, from Watford, Hertfordshire, United Kingdom, will get it on with IBF Mandatory Carlos Tacum 3,531, 27 KOs, the resilient veteran from Noisy Le Grand, saint saint denis France, by way of Douala, Cameroon. Takam is a late replacement for Joshua's original opponent, Kubrick Pulov, who pulled out due to injury. Pulov would have been a good test for Joshua. He is experienced and rugged, qualities he shares with the man who replaced him. When asked about Takam on a recent teleconference call, Joshua said, I could say a million things about Takam because I'm studying him. At the end of the day, there's two things that I'm focusing on. One is that it's just like another fight and the second is winning then we can all move on to see what 2018 holds. I'm sure that's going to be a promising year. That certainty is something we share. No one expects Takam to defeat Joshua, and apparently no one wanted to talk about Takam, either. With alarming single-mindedness, the only opponent of any interest was WBC champ Deontay Wilder. Joshua was accommodating, but he wasn't about to ignore his next opponent. To have a style like Takam's, not a lot of people have long careers, said Joshua. He just eats up a little bit of ground each round. He could throw a jab, right hand to the head, left hook, right hook and be looking good and, all of a sudden, everything he's doing wasnt working because the person you're fighting is still coming. So, I think by round 6, 7 or 8, he starts applying pressure because he's got that type of fighter with the I'm going to absorb and measure everything you do mindset, which is a dangerous style. All in all, what goes down in the history books is whether I win or lose. I've just got to do whatever I've got to do to get this win. It's really important for me in the sport of boxing, because it sets up several fights in the future. Rooting for Joshua is easy. He is not an egomaniac. He is not a blowhard. And best of all, he can fight. At the other end of the spectrum is Deontay Wilder, who's on the job training has lasted five years, an eternity in boxing terms, and we still don't know, despite his record, how he would fare against a world-class fighter. If and when he and Joshua unify the titles, we may finally find out. When asked when he and Wilder might fight, Joshua said, any time. I think he's what the division needs and I think this is what Wilder needs, so we'll give it to them. I say it's definitely a potential for 2018. What else am I going to do in 2018 provided that I don't have any mandatories he'll be a free agent. If dealt with right with Eddie Hearn and the US, I think it could be built to be something just like the Klitschko fight. It should be better. It should be better than the Klitschko fight, but don't hold your breath. Wilder has some skills. What he lacks is experience fighting credible opposition. But a fight with Wilder, if it gets made, would bring Joshua to the States, a mouthwatering prospect for those of us on this side of the pond. Joshua was asked about Pull of pulling out of the bout. When I heard Pull of pulled out, I was going to do the same thing. I thought that's what the champions are doing these days. Luis Ortiz failed the drug test, so be it, move on to the next one. Ortiz comes off his ban and you box him then. No need to cry about it and say that nobody wants to fight you. Of course we want to fight you, you're the champion. You're the hunted. He just needs to start thinking that way and stop feeling sorry for himself. Just keep quiet and don't show any weakness in this game. This is heavyweight boxing. This ain't featherweight boxing. Wilder talks the talk, but he has only faced soft touches so far. I fought Jason Gavern in maybe my 12th fight, said Joshua. Deontay Wilder is fighting in his 34th fight, maybe his 35th fight. Where I'm coming from is that in a career, it's all good going undefeated and looking good. But when it's all said and done, how are people going to remember you? He hasn't had any memorable fights. He needs a real remarkable fight to stamp his name in the history books of heavyweight boxing. I need Wilder to have a remarkable fight. I need to be the one that steps up to make this dream a reality.